It's in the middle of the day and I'm looking for something to spray. So this is my Ionium. This is getting some sun now if you can see that. So look, the shadow. And this is spring in Australia. If you're in other countries where it's summer, I would advise you do this when uh, the sun's not too hot. But Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Here in Australia, it doesn't really worry me. I spray them even in summer, but of course, I don't intentionally go out of my way and say, oh, it's the heat of the sun or middle of the day and it's 40 degrees. <laughs> I'm going to run out and spray my plants with my method solution no you also have to be considerate and think of the time uh, for your plants it's best when it's late in the afternoon or early in the morning oh my god you're gorgeous do you have some aphids or mealybug as well but anyway oh there's a spider i'm sorry spider look it's running okay <laughs> That is so gorgeous. Anyway, that's my original Jinmi Tenyu. I am looking for things to spray. Normally I use, because I've got ants activity going on in here, normally I use my ant solution, which is another video, but I haven't done it yet, so you'll have to keep an eye for that video. Now this one here is my Echeveria. What are you? Sovereign Sands? Are you Sovereign Sands? I can't remember all this. Yes, it is. Yes, Sovereign Sands. You look like Sovereign sand, which looks very much like. Now that one there is not a Sovereign sand or a Gusto. That's actually a Clara, which is the next one here. Okay, that's a Clara. That's a Gusto with a Clara. Now this one, this is Sovereign Sands with aphids. So the sun is shining on it and I'm spraying it and it's 1.30, almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon here. So a lot of people don't know when to spray or use the methyl solution because the methyl solution is nice and cool. Probably the succulents will appreciate it during summertime as well because it keeps them cool. But as long as you have it diluted like my one cup, and a quarter cup ratio, that's 250 ml to 60 ml. So 60 ml water and 250 ml of methyl, then that's fine. And the wind's blowing again. But anyway, I'm looking, because I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for what else can I spray? Okay, it's flowering right now. So the aphids are showing up and soon the mealybug as well. They'll be hiding in their little hidey hole. They're also hibernating. But soon they'll be out. But anyway, the cotyledon, my cotyledon, a few requests on how to grow for cotyledon, but I'll do a video, separate video for that anyway. Isn't there any more? Graptodaria, Fred Eyes, Cristata or Crested One. Now this one here, I can't see any infestation, but just to be sure, because I saw a little bit of white there. And mealybug loves crested plants as well because they can hide. Even this one here, what are you? Fredisa manum inval or briar rose? I believe those two are the same, one and the same. And anyway, I can't find any aphids. Well, how come there's no aphids when you're looking for one? Oh, Riga. Riga is also loved by mealybug, but just in case, we we'll spray it as well. Oh, look how cute you are. That's... Um, Comics for me. Oh, there's baby Riga in the bottom as well. Can you see that in the bottom there? But anyway, so there you go. Black, um, Bloody Maria. That's Bloody Maria. That's it. Oh, this one also. This is one of my royal flush that's been loved by mealybug and all sorts of things. Anyway, so I'm having difficulty growing my royal flush and my mommy royal flush I better go check on her as well that's it the sun's hitting her there you go we'll spray you so that's it so I don't know how long this video is but anyway if it's a short video it's a short video oh this one as well okay aphids on my baby fingers this is Sadowski there you go and it's flowering as well there you go that's it guys so have no fear well oh look at the gorgeous 
I'm not gonna spray you <laughs> because you're beautiful. The aloe, this is one of my variegated uh, aloe that I bought in autumn. But then I left it here exposed to the frost and the sun and the wind and everything. And it's still alive. It's looking worse for wear, but it's still alive. And so as my Coartata have worn Theopsis. I think they changed the name. So Coartata, this one. Look, the top is sort of dead. <laughs> Are you dead? Oh, it's still alive. There's still life in there. Okay, there you go. It's just got hit by the frost. But outside is not good, but inside it's still look, still good. Anyway, that's all for now. Oh, I have to clean this um, other one here, which is my PVN. And there you go, guys. I will see you on the next video again. There's so many things to do. I love spring, but I'll be a busy, 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 busy girl. And look what I've done. I've just sprayed my Brenolensi here that's got some aphids on the Ellen. And comparing it to my variegated... Okay, I'm just going to... Woo! Segway over here. <laughs> that is my Brenolensi variegated. And look at the gorgeous color. And look at the gorgeous color on these ones. So that one on the center, look at that. Is that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, two of them. Gorgeous. It's drying out now. So anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, sorry, ant. But then that's going to come back. So metho doesn't work for the ant. I need a different solution for my ants. Or should I say I use a different solution for my ants? <laughs>